Hey, I'm Einze. And I'm Rachel. And in this video, we're going to show you how semi co op comics are made. Yes, so when I start off making a comic, everything has to be just right. First, I clean up my desk, I set a pot of fresh tea, and of course, music plays a really big role as well. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'll take you through the drawing process. First I take the rough script and paste the text into the panels and this way I get a better idea of how much room I've got left for the characters and the artwork of the comic. Then I roughly sketch out the layout for the comic with simple wireframe stick figures. After that, I lower the transparency and sketch the characters on top of that. I use blue color for my sketching lines because besides that it has become a habit, it's actually really a thing in traditional animation. They used a so-called non-photo blue pencil that could not be detected by graphic art cameras or copiers. This way, they didn't have to erase the sketch lines before inking. And I think that's quite cool. I don't use that particular shade of blue though. The blue I use is the blue from my character's hair. But first things first, maybe we should talk about how we get to a script. So for the weekly comics, it's more of an ongoing process. It's kind of interwoven into our daily lives. Yeah, so whenever we have an idea, we just write it down. And that interwoven part might actually go up to unhealthy levels. Maybe. We might have a problem. Help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would make for a great comic. Ugh, not now. Oh, that's an even better punchline. Go on. You're gonna be so happy in the morning! We came up with this comic after playing a friend's copy of Trial by Trolley. So that's a party game version of the trolley problem in which you have a trolley that's out of control. You're at the switch, the switch rails, and there's two rails and on both rails there's a group of people and you get to decide which group gets run over and which gets to live. Um, we thought it would be funny if we would change the people in the problem to uh, board games because a lot of people have a big board game collection but games won't get played and they should probably be cut from their collection but it's always our decision and um, so it's just sort of a funny parallel uh, that we would use in the comic so when we make the script it's very simple there's just a short um, visual descriptor of every panel and a bit of dialogue beneath it and because we often write them down very quickly they're often half english half dutch just to communicate the ideas and um, the script will be changed. Um, often things aren't able to be drawn in a reasonable amount of time or we'll think of something wittier or there's another dimension to the joke that we, um, we think of while we're working on it. And if we have a more visual gag or visual idea, we often uh, sketch them out very poorly on paper and we probably shouldn't be showing you these sketches. But we will. For sponsored comics, we really try to find the core of the game, so we often study the rules and analyze the artwork. For the God Tier comics, because they often focus on the champions, we've painted the minis to really get to know them, and we often lurk around on fan pages. Do you think Steamforge Games will allow me to make fun of Sneak Beat Pen420? What's that name, man? He keeps saying bad stuff about Blackjaw. So while you were learning about how we script, I finished the sketch and we'll start working on the line art. 
Uh, for anyone who's interested, I work on a desktop computer with a more than nine years old Wacom Cintiq and I can't believe it's still working. Oh, and I only have a relatively small Cintiq, it's only 13 inch and maybe my next one will be bigger, but that would leave less room for the cats. So I might have to discuss that with them. And now that I'm almost done with the line art, it's time to add some color. The first thing I do is lay down the flats. I use the magic wand tool to select shapes and fill them with a base color. Then I'll start adding details and some shading. After I've colored the characters, I'll tackle the background, but in this comic the background is quite simple and just a lot of shades of grey. Okay, we'll speed it up a little here. So this happens every time. Kitty, why? Very soon when I started drawing comics with board game boxes in them, I realized that trying to recreate box art from scratch takes way too long, especially when you have piles of them. So what I do now is google the box of a game and copy paste the graphic in my file and then warp it so the perspective is, well, about right. Then I blur it and add a filter to make it blend with the comic more. And that's it. And then I do some final tweaks and the comic is done. Ta-da! Once the comic is done, we write a blog post for on the site to give a little uh, context what the comic is about and we also like to share what games we've been playing that week. Yeah, a lot of people have told us that they've discovered new games through the comic and the blog post, so even though we don't do reviews, it's cool that uh, people learn about new games through our work. Every week after the comic is written and the blog post is made, we just realized we, we don't have a title yet and this is the biggest challenge every single week. Every week. And once we finally came up, of, we've come up with a title we actually like, we still have to write a text for social media. Yep, all in all, uh, illustrating the comic takes about five to eight hours once we have a script. <laughs> Not counting the 12 additional hours for coming up with oh, a title and social media text. Yeah, but that, that is our process. We hope you've enjoyed this little peek behind the curtains, this, the behind the scenes. And um, if you want to follow us, you can do that at, at Sunlight Co-op on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. And we're also on Patreon if you'd like to support us, which we would really appreciate. Well, and that was it. That was it. Thank you all for watching and have a very, very fine day. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe.